Hello guys and welcome to the first episode in a new let's play. Today we're going to play some more Victoria 2 with the historical flavor mod. We're still playing on 1.27i, I think it is. The version of the mod, I don't know. It's the same version I played the Switzerland campaign in and the uh, the, the Finnish campaign that I don't want to talk about. Uh, I talked about that in the last one. Uh, However, this campaign will be an attempt to redeem myself, because uh, Finland is indeed a puppet state, and in this one we're also going to play as a puppet state. We're going to play as the one, the only, the Mosquito Kingdom. An excellent little kingdom down here in uh, Central America, that uh, until like a couple of hours ago I basically knew nothing about. I had absolutely no idea um, why the Mosquito Kingdom was a puppet of the United Kingdom instead of just being a uh, you know a province like say Belize is. But then I was educated by the proper uh, Bikinio on the uh, Discord chat that I have and uh, he presented a most excellent strategy that I'm not entirely sure if that it, it actually works. Well, I, I know that it can work, but I've, uh, I haven't done any test game because it's very much a sort of uh, long-term uh, strategy, if you will. Uh, because as a puppet of the British Empire, we're obviously going to need a decent army to gain independence. And so the basic idea of playing the Mosquito Kingdom is to get a right proper fuckton of immigrants and try and use those immigrants to fend off any naval invasions that the British put onto us. Uh, because obviously when I played Finland, the border with Russia was rather large and so I was unable to defend myself when I tried to go for independence, but the idea as the Mosquito Kingdom is that we don't have a land border. Uh, obviously the British have islands all over the place and even, uh, you know, continental territories, but we shall still do our best. So I really did not know much about the Mosquito Kingdom, but I did some impromptu googling <laughs> right before I started the playthrough. And if you google the Mosquito Coast, which is the uh, Wikipedia article, it's called the Mosquito Coast because the uh, kingdom has a surprisingly long and interesting history. Uh, it is... yeah, it's gone through different names and different statuses in uh, Serenity and whatnot. That's why the article is called the so Mosquito Coast, to try and sort of include everything. Basically, the Mosquito Coast, if you, if, if I were to summarize this, it, summarize it, is a sort of... it's one of the many neglected areas of the Spanish Empire in the Americas. I feel like well, I don't. I haven't read this specifically, but I feel like from learning about Spanish American history, uh, a lot of the non-Spanish-speaking -sp areas in the Americas became non-Spanish-speaking because of Spanish neglect. Essentially, the Spanish colonized Hispaniola, you know, settled some territories and whatnot, and then they were like, "Hey, there's gold in Peru," and then they sort of forgot about Hispaniola. And a bunch of French and English uh, pirates settled in what is today Haiti. And after some, ra well, you know, one of the many dynastic wars in Europe, the uh, the pirates and sort of semi unofficial French settlements in Haiti became official. And so the colony of Saint Domingue was founded, and it became like the most profitable colony in the French Empire. I don't know the exact history of Jamaica, but it's, it's once again, it's one of those random places that were definitely originally Spanish, but that they sort of didn't pay that much attention to, and so when they lost one of the many wars that Spain lost in Europe, they didn't bother, like, they didn't care that much if they lost Jamaica. I was like, eh, I mean, we're good, we're good. In many ways, the Mosquito Coast is similar to that, in that it was a uh, part of Spanish Central America that they didn't care too much about, and so there was still a Native American kingdom here that basically refused to acknowledge Spanish overlordship. 
But being the, uh, you know, proper <laughs> independent kingdom that they were, with, you know, as you can see with the population, not a lot of people living here, but, you know, they did their best. And an interesting history, like, the, like there are actually, like, Afro-Caribbean uh, people as well. Uh, from what I read, there was a slave ship that essentially landed and... Uh, well, the slaves had essentially revolted against their captain, so a bunch of Africans landed in the Mosquito Kingdom, and either they uh, were basically turned into slaves by the Native Americans, and, you know, eventually integrated, and, you know, intermixed into the ethnicity, or the Native Americans welcomed them, and were like, hey man, I also like, hate your, or I also hate Europeans, we should marry and whatnot. Uh, Wikipedia can't quite agree with itself, but there you are. Uh, I should probably start playing the game actually before my comment section gets too angry. So let's disable microstates, let's uh, hide options, and uh, you know, do the basics. Gotta get some excellent intellectuals. I mean, not that it matters that much, seeing as we barely have any. <laughs> seeing as we barely have any. Um, any people in our entire country. Uh, we're actually going to grab the Alliance for National Unity though, because obviously we need to piss off the people and changing political parties quite randomly is quite a good way to do that. But yeah, so the basically independent kingdom of Mosquito and Mosquito, I think isn't I think this is how you English speakers uh, write Mosquito as in the bug. And I think it, that's like an English thing like I mean the province itself is called Bluefields and I know I know from Wikipedia that that's a English settlement uh, but it's like the uh, yeah it, it it's spelled differently in the native language well obviously the native language presumably didn't have a writing language but uh, the actual natives are called Miskito but it's written M-I-S-K-I-T-O and not not like this so I don't know I don't know if what the exact connection there is, but they are. Uh, so basically, the kings of the Mosquito Coast said, Hey Britain, we're a kingdom, and we have like, super valuable tropical wood. Obviously it wasn't called tropical wood IRL, it was called something else, but they had wood that was like, good shit. And you know, it's good land, you can plant sugar here. And you know, the fucking Brits, really, Jamaica produces sulfur? Well, still, you know, the, these islands, they produce cotton and sugar and whatnot, so the British were like, yeah, man, you know, fuck the Spanish, we're going to recognize this kingdom. But obviously, they didn't just recognize it, they also turned it into a protectorate. And that's basically how the Mosquito Kingdom ended up as a, well, as it is represented in this game, it's represented as a puppet, because it was definitely an independent kingdom. Uh, I mean, the, the Mosquitoes would go mental, like, they would gather uh, raiding parties and they would raid all the way up to the Yucatan and down to Costa Rica and just they, I mean they would enslave whoever they found and they would sell the slaves they had conquered if you will and they would be shipped over to Jamaica to work on the sugar plantations and the British were like yeah man this is awesome fuck yeah you're totally an independent kingdom the Spanish never really acknowledged it because I mean why would they <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I doubt they were very happy about it, but once again, it was a very neglected part of the Spanish Empire. Uh, so they never sort of bothered to do anything about it. Uh, well, they did bother at some point. Oh, but I would have to go into the Wikipedia article. I, there was this interlude where the Spanish actually like showed up and did stuff. But that only lasted for like a couple of decades, and then the English came back. Well, the English didn't came, come back. It was more like the the English were once again willing to acknowledge the uh, semi-independence of the Mosquito Kingdom. And as a result, they were able to throw off the Spanish yoke. Now, I was kind of eager to start this campaign, and so I'm going to be honest, I don't actually know how the Spanish or how the Mosquito Kingdom ended. But obviously it was eventually annexed into, uh, you know, the Central American nations. Um, historically, actually, the Mosquito Kingdom also had territory in the province of Puerto Limpira. Like this little chunk here was actually part of the kingdom. All of this little coast here was part of the kingdom. And uh, it was 
it was a sort of a, a very sort of Latin or Native American kingdom, relatively egalitarian, and the king only really had power over war and whatnot. Uh, like day-to-day -day stuff was just like local tribes doing local tribe stuff. Um, but whenever they desired to, I don't know, raid and capture slaves from Costa Rica, they would, you know, the king would lead that, I guess. Oh, that's uh, today's hist history lesson. Oh god, that, that was probably most of the video. Oof, the comment section is not going to be happy about that. But anyways, so how are we going to grab... Uh, or how are we going to achieve anything as the freaking Mosquito Kingdom? A small nation with a little bit less than 3,000 uh, pops. Well, we're going to abuse the same mechanic I tried to abuse in the Finland campaign. Well, I did abuse it, but I, I didn't achieve much. Well, I did achieve some things, but let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's not talk about my failed Finland campaign. Let us instead look forward. The basic idea is that now that we are at peace with uh, Xhosa, Xhosa, yeah, that nation, we're going to proclaim independence straight away. The United Kingdom shall not be allowed to dominate us any longer, because that's just not nice. You know, we can't we can't endure this. Oh, what is that? You have a military score of 28, and I have zero military score? Right, so maybe we're not gonna do that then. Uh, sorry, sorry about that, Britain. We're just gonna go to peace again. Yes, the British overlords, a sad day. Oh, what is that? Uh, we all of a sudden... Actually, I didn't... I didn't pay attention to whether or not we started with these reforms. I actually don't think we did, but... Uh, <laughs> The good thing is that we can now select universal voting. And as a result, we just gained an extra 15% immigration attraction. Now, while I, I don't know entirely why this is, but essentially, um, you need an absolute fuckton of reforms before people will consider migrating to the Mosquito Kingdom. Uh, I don't know why this is, but that is how it is, and so despite the fact that we're going to be getting a decent chunk of reforms uh, rather quickly, uh, the people won't actually give a shit about that, and we won't get any immigrants. Oh, oh never mind, look at that! 36 immigrants from Baltiski Gurnenia. Damn, that did not happen in my test game. Is that just a random fluke, or are we actually getting Im immigrants here? Oh, is that just... It seems like that was just a random flock of dipshits from the Baltic governance. We decided, you know what, fuck it, we're moving to the Mosquito Kingdom. The Mosquito Kingdom is the only place to guarantee our freedoms. Oh, the fuck, we're still... Okay, I mean, sure. Let's... <laughs> See, now, now I'm spooked, because I don't want to end... Look at that! What the fuck? <laughs> how did you... How, okay. We now have 7.92% intellectuals. Right. How the fuck... Okay, this did definitely not happen in my test game. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, indeed. The population is now 6% Eastern German. Because everyone knows that the highest wish of the German upper class in uh, the Baltic states, you know, the Eastern Germans lurking about here, they, th the highest wish of them is to move to the great Mosquito Kingdom. And I guess El Encanto. Yep, no, that's, that's... Yeah, I don't know, I, I think we need to stop... Uh, I think I need to stop treating them as uh, logical people, because obviously they are not. Uh, but I don't know. Memes aside though, and severe ranting aside, uh, you, you get the idea. Um, we have to wait some time before we can do another reform. Basically, we're just going to constantly, quote-unquote, declare in, uh, independence from the British 
to spam our militancy high in an effort to get uh, political reforms so that we can then get uh, immigrants and then hopefully we'll get enough people to build enough armies to defend from the British and then we can maybe get independence. Bikini pointed out that in order to actually pull it off you do need to declare against them during some sort of great war or you know uh, some bullshit war so this this is going to be very much a waiting game uh, that's fine though we good you know what it is it is time for the second mosquito war of independence yes oh what is that ah you're gonna give me some reforms are you why I can't I can't deny you that why that would be cruel yes oh see yeah, Britain I changed my mind I don't want independence it was a mistake and I can't believe I didn't point this out, but yes, um, the Eastern Germans are indeed assimilating into Native American minor. Because yes, our primary culture, our only culture, is of course Native American. Because we are a proper kingdom, despite the little Union Jack in the corner there. But uh, let's not pay too much attention to that. Let us pay, look at that, bureaucrats, there we are. Man, 100% admin efficiency, did all the... No, 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 we're still definitely... Yeah. Honestly, it seems like just a batch of intellectuals just memed themselves over here. Man, this went well, way better than in my test game. Look at that. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, what should I actually encourage then? Holy shit. Uh, I don't know. Capitalists? Nah, they're just going to build lumber mills. Fuck, I don't know. When have I ever been in a position where I don't need bureaucrats, capitalists, or intellectuals? Fuck. <laughs> Fucking lol. <laughs> Are they actually giving me three... Are they supposed to give you three research points or is it just... Uh, two? I guess we're about to know because I have this abnormal amount of... <laughs> of uh, like the, normally you can only get four percent intellectuals but I have well I had like seven or something but now we're down to 6.3 because obviously they're assimilating into Native American culture and I don't know I mean these guys are just tribal lads you know living in peace they're basically the primitive technology YouTube channel which is like I don't know I don't know if it's the best YouTube channel Maybe the second best. Uh, I don't know. I think it's time for another independence war, though. Let's go for that. Right. Uh, let me double check. Don't want to do any unnecessary independence wars now, do we? No, no, no. No, we good. We good. It's time for independence. Proclaim it. Get it going. Yes. Ah, they didn't get pissed off enough. Also, why are we still 100% conservative? That's odd. I mean, I do have appointed, but I don't have ruling party only. Is it the electorate, maybe? No, it's not the electorate. Ah, oh, okay. No, 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 I think, yeah, it's first past the post, I think. Yeah, we only have one state, and seeing as the conservatives are the biggest state, the conservatives are the one. Yeah, it's like modern-day America, you know? Uh, half the population is ignored, and uh, only the majority, or plurality gets to have a say indeed it is a modern democracy here now yes quite cultured I dare to say well uh, I changed my mind again so let's not do the whole independence thing all right so now we're gonna get school systems I already got health or trinket health care from the last war so now we're just gonna wait bide our time yeah the infamy is not really an issue we're speeding through the game pretty quickly here so uh, uh, also, yeah, I. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious, uh, the reason I'm the reason I have infamy is that every time I invade the quote unquote invade the UK, I'm truce breaking. Uh, the reason I can truce break is because I always have to become independent, Castle Belly, and so I can always truce break. And truce breaking costs two infamy. So there you are. That's another reform acceptable school system. So we're going to grab debtors' prisons because that increases. Uh, Immigration attraction by five. It doesn't say so, but the previous version or the previous reform had minus five. 
And honestly, I don't even want to give uh, all allowed rights because it doesn't give you any more uh, immigration attraction. Never mind, it does. It does, it does! Oh god! <laughs> oh god, it gives you 8 extra immigration attraction. Hey! Never mind me! I'm, I'm just autistic, I don't know. Please show mercy to your uh, local YouTuber today. Because uh, sometimes they, their brain doesn't work properly. Well, I sorted it out. We're gonna get all allowed rights right now. And yes, we're technically at war with the British, but you know what it is. What is it? Third Independence War? Actually, I don't remember. See, that's the issue. I got distracted by the uh, blessed Dridelicious on Twitch. Shoutouts. By far the best streamer. And I got a bit drunk because I don't know. I think I had an ex ah, I, I don't know. It's 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 tech okay. It's technically Sunday, you know. I don't actually have an excuse. Um, actually, I do. I didn't get to drink yesterday. Although the only reason I get didn't get to drink yesterday was because I was well. I, I technically could have drunken yesterday, but I was piss hangover from some disastrous memes on Friday. So let's not talk about that. Alright, time for another reform. We're gonna go based on population to get some more immigration attraction. And a common cited has... Yeah, it, it's cited because we are just that awesome. Also, a quick moment to pay respect to the lack of uh, Germans in our land. Look like 2% Eastern German. Well, I, I guess we shouldn't pay respect. Because they're still here. They're still among us. There's, they've, they've, they've just been incorporated into the greater land of Native American culture. Then again, are we... Yeah, uh, I never did point out that I'm spamming reactionary loyalty. Because I assume I eventually will want to become a democracy. Because I think some meme lord on my Discord told me that democracies get more immigration. Uh, okay, it's, just, it's still 4%. We're we good, we're good. Let's, let's make this an obscene amount of reactionary loyalty then. It's not even that bad. I mean, look at the fuckers in the United States. Like, uh, what is that? Fine. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 Twenty percent loyalty. And I've spent years trying to get three percent. Like, goddamn, boy. Drastic, man. Are we ready for another reform? No. Eleventh of June. All right. It is time to grab. Fuck. Uh, what was I going to grab? Uh. Gods, I need more healthcare technology. Child labor does not actually impact the uh, immigration. It oh no, fuck it does. Oh, fuck me, it totally does. You just need to get past one of the levels, and then you're good. And yes, we're at war with Britain again, but y y y you know how it is. You love gods. All right, let's grab some. Uh Culture reform? See, now I don't want that because the Germans will assimilate. Uh, press freedom. No, no, no. Fuck. I don't know. Minimum wage, I guess? No, 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 fuck. Jesus Christ, I forgot. Child labor, right? Yeah, 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 that, that's the one. <laughs> Oof. Alright, let's get some uh, minimum wage here in the glorious Mosquito Kingdom. Bloody excellence. And I guess we'll need to convince the British to stop being at war with us, but you know, that is the general way of existence, isn't it? I mean, why don't we just keep the minimum wage going? Although, honestly, I think at that point uh, we're going to end the episode. Sorry for basically not doing anything in this episode. I mean... <laughs> I basically just wasted a lot of time talking about the history of the Mosquito Kingdom, so yeah, sorry about that. I don't know. Uh, Eastern German. Ooh, what? Hey! We actually got some immigrants? Oh, okay, we're not getting anyone right now, but I guess one of those random. random bouts of immigration showed up. So there's some random uh, Italians lurking. No? Did they assimilate? before I was able to look into them. Ah, I gotta click the thing. Right, right. Uh, oh yeah. Select all. That's what I want. There we are. Yeah, a couple of North Italians. Look at that. And they're even assimilating into glorious Native American culture. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.